guys, this is Sarah X, aka Amazon, and I want to thank you so much for checking out the second episode on my YouTube channel. A clue! A clue! Oh, what's that? There's some super dope art behind me, you say? Very observant, my friend. My brother and I went to Wizard World St. Louis this weekend, so I thought I'd just casually show off my beautiful swag. Here's a closer look. All my Game of Thrones fans, I know that you will appreciate these. I got Arya Stark. Daenerys. That's a really cool picture, huh? And my favorites, Tyrion. Walking out like a boss. We bought these at the con from an artist named Brent Woodside. And he also works with his wife. I'm pretty sure she made the Khaleesi photo. Um, but I'll go ahead and leave their information in the description box if you want to follow them on Instagram and check out more of their work. I was also super impressed with St. Louis's cosplay scene. I mean, they really showed out. Check out the winners of the cosplay contest. This was the best hero. Came from World of Warcraft. I can't even, like, that's amazing, right? And here's the best villain. He actually had a balloon and all kind of props in there. He was on a wheelchair, but he built this around it, and he had the costume on underneath. That was just so well thought out. That's crazy. Here is the best group. <laughs> Classic Tim Burton villains. And the best overall were these medieval Kylo Ren and Captain Phasma costumes. Holy guacamole. Every single costume that went up there so much detail, so much detail, and so much work. Wow, St. Louis, you really put your heart and soul into it. And so now these guys didn't win, but they were my absolute favorite at the entire con. Look at this little Power Ranger family. Aren't they cute? I'm so sorry I missed getting them from the front because I think the kids were kind of nervous. But look how cute that little white ranger is and that little pink ranger. Ah! Such a cute family, oh my god. Now I know the question that you're asking is, what the heck, Sarah? Where were you in the middle of all of this? And to be honest, every single cosplayer wants to walk into a con like, Karma's a bitch. But sometimes things happen, okay? Sometimes you pull a week's worth of all-nighters only to be so sleep deprived that you accidentally destroy your costume the night before you leave. Okay? Shit happens. Get off my back. <laughs> Obviously, this is still a sore subject for me. But for real though, sometimes in cosplay, just like the rest of life, your plans crumble to the ground around you and you're left with two choices. Either A, Throw yourself into a huge heaping mess on the floor, sobbing your eyes out, and low-key waiting for your fairy godmother to come bibbity bobbity boom your ass. And honestly, if you have that kind of connection, I feel like you should just go ahead and slide my digits over to her because I could really use the hookup. Or B, you can realize that life's too short to waste having a big BF. Your brother already canceled his plans to hang out with you this weekend. Tickets most of the time are unrefundable, and you would make a terrible scalper. And so in this situation, I did what any reasonable cosplay chick would do. I ignored the fact that I have several costumes, acted like I had nothing that I could possibly wear, and turned to closet cosplay. Urban Dictionary defines closet cosplay as a costume made up of clothing that was purchased or found in your closet involves little to no alteration of the clothing. Urban Dictionary also defines closet cosplay as a cosplay made entirely out of clothes found in your closet, which means it requires minimal effort and is bound to be shitty. But whoever wrote that second one is a self-entitled prick with a stick up their butt, so we're just gonna ignore that. <laughs> Closet cosplay is easy, simple, affordable, and it keeps the focus where it should be, on having fun. Here's how you do it. Oh! Step one, the hunt. 
Search your closet for anything and everything that you look cute in. You're looking for a statement piece that'll trigger your creativity. A good source for this is leftover dress clothes. Maybe if you have a prom dress or a homecoming dress or a suit leftover. Search your house for any props or toys that you've hoarded over the years or that you can steal from a younger person living in your house, like your child or your younger sibling. Don't forget to check out your makeup and your jewelry box because sometimes you can get really good inspiration there. After you've poured your potential gold mine onto your bed in an effectively disgusting pile, go ahead and start sifting through. If nothing jumps out at you right away, start mixing and matching things together. Sometimes you just need to see two things next to each other. Make sure you're thinking as creatively as possible. Sometimes the most simple things are so funny or so cute. Personally, I tend to hoard a lot of dance clothes because I've been a dancer for a while. I might not ever even do ballet again, but I kind of hoard these leotards because as a costumer, you never know when they'll come in handy. I also have these leftover fishnets from when I used to do jazz. And in general, most people tend to have a leather jacket. So put it all together and what do you got? <coughs> now sometimes you may want to add just a little something to whatever you've come up with to help set it off. Like when me and my friend Joe did Futurama, I had to get a purple wig and he had to get a pizza box. Or when I was Misty, I had to get a Pokeball. But the good news is most of the time those things are optional and most of the time they're pretty cheap if you just go to a toy store or Goodwill. So the final step after you've searched your room, put together a concept and added any extra fun pieces to it is own that shit. Just go out there and rock it. Closet cosplay. once again for tuning in to my second episode of my YouTube channel. I hope you guys enjoyed it because I had a lot of fun making it for you and I'll be putting out another video next week. Now before you go, I have a little creative challenge that I want to put you up to. Go into your closet and put together your very own closet cosplay and then I want to see it. Post it to Instagram, Facebook, and tag my handle in it. I'll put it down in the description box, okay? I can't wait to see what you guys come up with. Well, that's it for this week. Peace, guys. Amazon, out.